Hello everybody, welcome to another continuity analysis review thingy here on this here YouTube channel. Today's continuity of interest is, well, it is Disney Junior USA. From which date you ask me? Well, the date is the 27th of May, of course, 27th, 28th. We got number two part, part one and two all in one. It's confusing, I know, it doesn't matter. So. Let's pay attention to what's going on. Well, what's going on is it's a little bit blurry. The quality is not the best. Why is the quality so bad? I don't know. Because sometimes uh, the uh, recording gets recorded in bad quality. It's out of my control. I, uh, you know, whatever. So let's just uh, ignore the poor quality. Let's hope it gets better with time. I suspect it will get better as time moves on. I don't know. It's kind of better right now. So we see a. Um, promo for a show that is not on Disney Junior. It is on the Disney Channel, the US version of the Disney Channel, and it's the Greens. This is a whole family and they're somehow unusual and that's why they have a whole episode, a whole series named after them. And it's all, it's all about them. So we got Mickey Morning right here. Mickey be promoting his show where he just, uh, it's not a show, it's a blog. It's like there barely is any difference except for the bumpers and promos will look diff different and the end credit promotions as well. So they change up everything, even the logo though. So it gives you a weird feeling like that something has changed, something's different. So yeah, it, it does make a difference. They have their own like, they have Mickey Mouse talking to you during the ad breaks and uh, this is like content that was made especially for this block. It's uh, unique content. It's, uh, you know, not just, uh, they, they didn't just take out some clips of a cartoon and, uh, you know, showed you some short clip. They actually animated Mickey Mouse and used the voice actor to talk to you during the ad breaks. It's not a very long talk. These clips are relatively short, but yeah. Hey, look at this awesome bumper where Mickey just jumps on top of the biggest star up, up, up there. From one st star to another, he uses them like stepping stones, like ladder, uh, like stairs almost. So this was recorded during Wednesday, and it's the day of the whale apparently. For Disney Junior, Wednesday is the day of the whale. And yeah, we, we've got fireworks and whatnot and everything. So uh, they're promoting here the Disney Now app where you can apparently watch some clips or something, color Mickey Mouse's shoes, and uh, I don't know more stuff play uh, vampirina video games i don't know what else you can do there this seems to be a universal app where you can do a lot of things uh and uh i have yet to check it out because i'm the kind of person who keeps forgetting stuff like that i got a lot to a lot of things i would like to do and i just you know can't do all of them it's impossible impossible like uh, the latin people say in the country of Latinia. <laughs> no such country exists. Uh, so, um, abcmouse.com. This is a proud sponsor. They're so proud. <laughs> this is a, a Todd's short of some sort. Like, they, they have special promos for the show. And I like them very much. They don't repeat much, so when you catch one, it's likely that you might not ever get to see it again. So, they're kind of important so it's uh, special and important to pay attention to them whenever they uh, you know, pop up in the continuity so we've got an end, end credits promotion and uh, it's the same one we usually see except for uh, the same it's the same promo we always see except for it's uh, being shown during an end credit sequence of uh, Tots tiny ones so you saw it right there down below in a tiny window so we've got all these puppy dog pals and uh, what are hamsters doing here? I thought this was all about dogs, but now we got other animals here. I don't know. And this looks highly unrealistic, like trumpets. Is this like a metaphor for something? I don't know. The hamsters playing trumpets uh, and there's some are some weird backgrounds. And they're like tiny people walking on those trumpets, like the proportions are not correct. Is this like a dream? Is this somebody's daydream or imagination at work? Is this a metaphor? I'm not really sure what's going on. So we got the tap. You open up the water with the tap. 
Now your hands are wet, you apply soap and then you, uh, you apply it everywhere and you like rub and then uh, you know the water's still running. No, the water's not running anymore. You gotta get the water r to run again and then you put it under the water and uh, you know wash off all the soap and you're done. Presto. They did not show however the part where you use a towel to dry off your hands. You, they can't expect you to walk around with wet hands everywhere, right? It's not a practical thing to do. But just imagine you have wet hands and you grab the remote control and suddenly you have a wet remote control, right? And uh, water also kind of, I don't know, makes a... Uh, oh, okay, whatever. I uh, I like to like have half-finished thoughts, which I never finish. So, uh, I mean, like, water could get into the remote and it could break the remote, right? You could be, uh, like, uh, waving your hands around and just gonna be drops of water uh, leaving your hands and they may land on the wall and then you might end up with a wall that has permanent spots on it or something like that right you know what i'm saying right it's irresponsible to walk around with wet hands so you got to use a towel to dry them off that's one of the ways to dry them off of course you could just uh, hold your hands still and wait for them to dry off wait for the water to evaporate but whatever we've gone into this topic far too deeply let's pay attention to what's going on here on the screen we got mickey mouse Minnie mouse daisy mouse no goofy mouse no uh donald mouse uh, half of those people are not mice so uh, they're ducks and i don't know what goofy is <laughs> what is goofy anyway is he a mouse is he a dog what is goofy <laughs> that's uh, a question that Far too few people have asked themselves. So whatever, uh, we got all of the cartoon characters we uh, saw earlier, but now they're in 2D baby form. They look like babies. They've been tinyfied, babyfied, flatified. They're uh, they're flat looking uh, and uh, 2D looking, and uh, also they're not CGI, but they're still probably. Uh, created in a computer software program whatever um, got Bluey here dancing dancing his life away <laughs> no just dancing like he's like she's really having a lot of fun somehow I always th thought of Bluey as a boy before I knew it was a girl um, possibly because blue the blue color usually stands for the blue the male gender when a baby is born and the uh, pink one I believe uh, is the uh, female one so the doc is in look at how proud she stands she stands tall she's got her uh, outfit where she looks like a doctor like a real-life doctor but I uh, doubt that she is a doctor because in order to become a doctor you need to be above a certain age they don't let uh, little kids inside of university so I'm just saying that's 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 the harsh reality of it. She's a doctor only in her imagination, and all these toys probably only come to life after all the uh, all the adults leave, and um, uh, you know she turns on her imagination. So yeah, just saying, just saying what I noticed. Don't be mad at the messenger. And when her baby brother is near her, it's like they share a fantasy. They both pretend. They're, it's like a giant game of pretend. You know what's freaking me out? The, that life-size doll that was the, lying there on the bed. Bed. She's a pretend person. She, uh, you know, she's a toy, not a real human, not really. And uh, she looks like a real human though, because they make toys look like humans sometimes. Dollies, you know. So, uh, life-size dollies, whatever you call them. I don't know what to call them. So many words to get confused in. You got Bluey here though, that's dad. That's the guy who's probably the reason why Bluey is so much into pretending. Cause he loves pretending, let's face it. He loves pretending probably even more than Bluey herself. But to Bluey, pretending is her whole life. Uh, and the, her friends also like to do it. So this seems to be like the most important thing to them, being able to play pretend. Without pretend, like what else is there to do, you know? They, they wouldn't have an idea. They can't imagine a world without pretending. That's uh, what I suspect. So the quality of the video has not changed. It stayed pretty much in low quality. It has not improved too bad, but it's not a problem. 
it's a uh, something that we can live with it's um, you know it's still a good enough quality to be able to distinguish all the characters all the text everything you need you know uh, and we've got a lot more other continuities that are in higher quality so you can catch the same bumpers and promos in a lot better quality if that is something you really really want to but for now for illustration purposes this is more than enough so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did check out more videos on this YouTube channel see you bye bye